Yes. Oftentimes, people focus on the what, which is the book, right? The the goal um, planner, or the how, like the system. Mm-hmm. But I am very interested on in finding out the why. Yes. Why did you, as a person, decided to do this, make that decision? So the reason. And you are 100% right. And actually, a why is the third pillar in the planner. Uh, and the reason is because I, throughout the years of doing this, I've always does. I always did it by myself. I didn't have support. I didn't have guidance. I didn't have help. So it took me 10 times harder to create things and make things happen. And it was just a struggle. I would still make it happen, but it was still a struggle. And I decided to launch the product. We launched 90x because. You know, A, I wanted to do it for myself. Literally, I wanted to create this planner. That was, I was the biggest why. But then I know there were so many other people that if I succeeded every time from rock bottom, I know I can help a lot more people. Alan David, founder and CEO of 90X, arrived in America without any business lead connections. He had no university networking or didn't even have a solid business idea. But he did have ambition. He did have drive. He had the dream to make something of his life. His story is next on the Entrepreneurial Vibration Show. Here's your host, Sandy Viterra. Actually, I'm really interested about your product because I, I am an organized freak. I love getting organized. And when I heard about your product, I was really interested about how do I organize my goals? And I heard that you actually have a method to your madness and yeah. how to organize the goals and you have a system. So I yes. really do want to hear about how do we, you know, get into it and organizing sure. and your whole system. But I'm really interested to hear about how you got there. Okay. Yes. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit about you and about your background? Uh, because for what I understand, and Tim Ferriss actually has a really good phrase about people like you that get to this entrepreneur journey because they actually find out that they needed to scratch their own itch, right? <laughs> and for you, actually, the reason why you open your business is because you actually couldn't find a planner that had everything that you were looking for. And then yeah. you had to invent one. So exactly. That's exactly what entrepreneur is, right? It's creating something from nothing that doesn't exist. So. Exactly. Definitely. But my story, if you want to talk about that a little bit, I moved you about 25 years ago from Israel after serving three years in the Israeli Air Force. And I came over here. I went to school like anybody that comes an immigrant. Uh, and But the only job I could land was actually picking up trash for a construction company. So I picked up trash for $5.25. So it wasn't perfect in the beginning, right? <laughs> and that's what I did for three years. Yeah. Well, you know, I didn't come from a rich family, from a family that handed something to me or say, oh, great. Here is $100,000, start your life, or even $10, right? right? So I did what I had to do to survive, and I went to school, and at night, I landed another job cleaning shopping centers, scrubbing bubble gums from the floor, and that's what I did for three years. And, you know, it was a good period. I did it because I started from rock bottom, so therefore, it's only going up. There's no other way going. How um, old were you at this point in time? I was just 21. Okay. Yeah, 20, I just finished three years in the Israeli Air Force. So from 18 to 21, you join the Israeli Air Force. Women go for two years. So I think that's a good, it's a good because it makes you more independent, more mature, faster, whether you like it or not. Right. Uh, so that's something that I had to do. And I came over here, I did that. And then three years later, I kind of started my insurance company, went pretty good, well, turned it to sure. about six figures. Yeah, I sold insurance to car dealerships and that's what I did. So I was kind of self-employed and mm -hmm. did my own thing. And then after that, I moved to San Diego. Okay. After several years, five years of doing that, I moved to San Diego and I joined my uncle in his construction company and I did design and sales for construction companies. The, good, the great thing about that, and I'll tell you why goal planning goes all hap happens in the end, but I'll, but I'll tell you how everything happened. When I joined the construction company, it was about a $300,000 business that year. And when I joined about a year later, we were able to do about two mil in just sales from 300 to that opened the studio, had a warehouse and it was very good. In just good, two years? Uh, in less than two years. Okay. Yes. Less than two years from 300 to about two mil. Uh, and then we parted ways, me and my uncle, we parted ways. And then in 2010, I decided to go into photography. So I started again from scratch. 
no leads, no list, no social media. This is 2010, right? Facebook and Instagram and podcasts were not that big. Right. Uh, I don't think they actually existed. Uh, Instagram, I don't think at least I existed back then. Maybe it just started. Mm -hmm. But um, started from scratch, like every entrepreneur, like, what do I do? I don't have money. And none of this is everything's done. We part ways in a bad way. So everything kind of went. Uh, decided to go into photography, hustled for about eight, nine months, and finally was able to turn that business to six figures. Now, let me ask you a question. So was yeah. photography a hobby or how did that come about? It was a hobby, but because we part ways in within 24 hours, I found myself without a car, without a business, without an income, without anything. And I invested a lot and I had to create something right away. And being that I already had some equipment, I kind of liked photography. I was like, you know, why not? I just I started start doing that. So it was a hobby. I was actually photographing our um, architecture, our buildings that we were building. So that's what I did. So I decided to go into that. I really, really loved it. And I did that for about eight years. So even this year, I still had an event that I had to complete. And, and we'll see how that happened. But <laughs> turned that to about six figures within 10 months. So what I'm trying to show you, listeners, that anything is possible. Right. If you want it, it's possible. Nobody handed it to me. I did not have a plan B. Okay, a plan B is when this doesn't work, I'll do this. I had to make that work. Right. right. There was no you, other you are determined, basically. You were just like very focused. This is what I want to do and done. Exactly. Yeah, because I, I didn't have the time. And that's why, in my opinion, a lot of entrepreneurs fail is because if that doesn't work, they bounce to another idea and then right. another idea and then another idea rather than actually we work with what you have tweak it, make it better, figure out why it's not working, and then grow from there. So in my opinion, people call themselves entrepreneurs, but if you can't make that work, you, you're not. Right. You know, so I always encourage people to stay focused on what it is that you want. Now, 2014, the idea came to create the planner because I was like, you know, through all my businesses, I was always goal-oriented. Like, this is my goal. This is what I want. This is the system. This is what I'm going to do and get going. Mm -hmm. And couldn't find anything. Like you said, I couldn't find a planner, looked at this planner, looked at another planner. Well, maybe they'll come up with a Kickstarter. They're coming up with more, end up with about 15 to 20 different planners. Now, I'm not saying they're bad planners, but what they lacked, what, I'm, I'm really, I'm not saying anything bad. But what you found lacked, gaps. I think what, what you found is like, <laughs> there was always a gap, right? Yeah, you, there was a lot of gaps. What they were missing, the, what yeah. they were missing in their planner is the system. Yeah. The like, process, right, your step by step exactly. process, the process yeah. to get people involved because look, a planner is when a person sits with himself and decides, this is what I want to do. This is their accountability buddy. How can that planner help them reach their goals? Right? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> that's what they were lacking. They all had, yeah, write your goals down, your five-year goal, your 10-year goal, whatever. And everybody's excited and they write it. And then week passes by and they're like, okay, what do I do now? Right. 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 I right. mean, they don't have the right questions, the right things. So, but I want to say, because 2014, that was an idea, mm -hmm. and I procrastinated for three years. Like every other entrepreneur, I procrastinated for three years. Now, two weeks ago, I went to my members, and I did an episode about, you know, how procrastination cost me a million dollars, and I'll tell you why. Le le yeah, I was going to ask you exactly why. Yeah. Why did you procrastinate? I procrastinated because, like most of us, we want it to be perfect. We want, we are saying to ourselves, Somebody is already doing it. Who am I to do that? I'm mm -hmm. not an expert. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do that. Who's going to buy this from me? Who's going to listen to me? Why should I even, you know, who's going to buy this product? Why should I even oh, start? I? Yeah, so I'm already failing before I've even started, right? Because I'm already convincing myself all the reason why not to do it and not why I should do it. The imposter syndrome and so on. Yeah, exactly. So that's right. That's what most entrepreneurs do. They have a course. They have an idea. They have something. And... Yeah. They spend more time talking to themselves out of the idea rather than talking to themselves into the idea and then why not to do it. <laughs> it's so, so true. It's so it true. is. I mean, that's what happened to me. And, you why know, the do funny we do thing, that? Why do we do that to ourselves? You know, because I think, I don't know why most people do it, but I know I do that. I did that. I don't do that anymore. But I do, now when I have an idea, it happens and because now I have the system in place. But I think back then is the fear. It's the fear of not succeeding. It's the time spent. It's like, Really, somebody, how many people over here that we know, they are coaches, they have podcasts, they have things. And if you didn't start, you can say, well, somebody already has it, so I shouldn't do it. And that's, mm -hmm. that's the main thing, in my opinion. We look at other people and say, he already has it. He's probably better than me. Who am I to do this? I'm not an expert, yeah. right? 
because they're looking for the expert thing. Like, how am I an expert? How am I better? And, you know, I waited three years and it sucks because it cost me a million dollars because 90X last year brought in $340,000 in sales. If I multiply that times three, that's a million dollars. And I actually even lost even more because if I was in the market at 2014, I think I would have had three times and four times more of the clientele and the publicity and everything else. So, okay. but just to be conservative. So that's why I tell people, the listeners, if you have an idea, go for it. If it's yeah. something that you wanted to do, don't wait for next week. Don't wait next month and say, well, next month is going to be better or the week after is going to be better. No, write it down and create a vision and let's go. And I'll talk to you guys about the system a little bit because I think it will be important. It's very easy also to remember whether to use the planner or not. So yep. today, 2019, I'm 100% committed to 90X. This is all I do. I closed down the photography business that was bringing over $300,000 in because I had to stay focused on one or the other. So, so hold on, so, so you close the photography business and oh, you close that? Yeah, so the 90X started in my garage with my kids at 2017. Okay. That's when I decided to do it and we were side hustling. Okay, so now you are 100% committed to yes. 90X, okay. And now that you open that, you have a full system that is yes. dedicated to 90X, okay. now. Before you walk, system. yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, but before you walk us into the system, right? Yeah. Walk me into the why. Why did you do it? Because oftentimes, why did I close ninety? Uh, the photography. No, 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 no. Why did you go? Because oftentimes, people, and this is the main reason why I have the, this podcast. This podcast, like yes. oftentimes, people focus on the what, which is the book, right? The the mm -hmm. goals um, planner. Or the how, like the system. Mm -hmm. I am very interested on in finding out the why. Yes. Why did you as a person decided to do this, make yes. that decision? So the reason, and you are 100% right, and actually a why is the third pillar in the planner. Uh, and the reason is because I, throughout the years of doing this, I've always does, I always did it by myself. I didn't have support. I didn't have guidance. I didn't have help. So it took me 10 times harder to create things and make things happen. And it was just a struggle. I would still make it happen, but it was still a struggle. And I decided to launch the product, to launch 90X because, you know, A, I wanted to do it for myself. Literally, I wanted to create this planner. That was, I was the biggest why. But then I know there were so many other people that if I succeeded every time from rock bottom, mm -hmm. I know I can help a lot more people. Right. And that's my why. That's my mission. That's our core is we want to help as many people as we can reach six figures at this point. Of course, if they can do more than great, but that's my membership is all about. The community is all about. And we want to help them because I know if they can hit six, they can hit seven. It's just a matter of time, right? It's Beautiful. not a problem, but it's hard to hit seven if you haven't done six yet. Does it make sense? Right. So, so that's, that's the mission. That's the why we cre I created 90X. That's the reason why I went full in invested everything I got, made this happen, and I'm so happy I did. And I wish I would have done it sooner, but, you know, I guess everything has their time. Now, we would love to hear from you. Tell us on the comments below. Was this advice helpful to you today? And how can you put some of what you learn into practice right away to start to see a difference in your entrepreneurial journey? Also, don't forget, if you found this podcast helpful, make sure to subscribe. Share with your friends and hit the like button so we know to make more podcasts like this one.